On the previous video, we went over how you can change the format or how things look inside an array. So let's continue on that thread and cover more cases. For this video, I will show you how to change things in place, meaning without having to create or return a new array. Let's jump to it. Let me introduce you to the reverse method, which changed the item's order. Notice that I did not have to reassign the result of this reoperation, and that's because the array is reversed in place. I may also need to sort my array in a specific order as well, and for that, I have the sort method. The sort method is pretty flexible, so without passing any parameters, it will try to sort your array. And this works great if the array is an array of primitives, as you can see here with the number, string, and ranks. Well, kind of great. Oftentimes, you don't get the results you are expecting, like you can see here with the number arrays. I was expecting to see 1, 4, 21, 30, and 1000, but that's not the reality. This is because sort by default converts things to be strings first. So as a string, this makes sense if you just pay attention to the first number of each item. 1, 1, 2, 3, and 4. To fix that, I can provide a function which is called with the A and the B items and I just return the result of A minus B. And this will sort the numbers in ascending order, which is also the default direction when sorting. To change that, I do B minus A, and it's sorted descending. Notice that if I try the same thing with a string array, I get the same result no matter what. You can return negative one, one, and zero in the sort callback function. Negative one means A comes first, one, B comes first, or zero where order is kept the same. Notice that uppercase and lowercase are kept separately. This is due to their ASCII code. If we check the ASCII table, we will notice that the uppercase letters come before the lowercase ones. So lowercase values are actually greater. To change this, I convert them all to either lower or uppercase to finally get the results I wanted. For this next one, I almost never use it, but it's a great method to know about. It is the copy within method. The parameters it takes might make you scratch your head a little, so pay attention closely. It allows you to copy parts of the array and paste it yet inside a different part of the array, and this can be powerful. Copy within takes three parameters and two being optional. If you just specify the first parameter, the item at index zero will be placed there. The first parameter is the target, the index where the items will start to be pasted at. The follow two parameters represent the start and the end index to copy items from. If the second parameter is set to be negative, it will start from that number of items counting from the end. So negative two means start two items from the end. The third parameter is where to stop the selection. We can copy the two last items to be at the beginning by setting parameters zero and negative two. We can copy the two first items to be placed at the end by setting negative two as the target and then zero and two where to grab items from. Notice it will go up to two, but not included. Okay, reverse, sort, and copy within are very powerful methods that change the array in place. With that, thanks for watching. Catch you in the next one. Bye bye.